So what I thought I'd do is share a few, a few case studies quickly uh, about what we've been doing recently to try and inspire how you can think about getting more out of the film work that you're doing and how you can tie it into what you're doing, uh, tie it into your communication. So the first is DinoFest. DinoFest was this year. It was, uh, and I'm going to get um, in trouble from my team for repeating this time. It was awesome. It was absolutely awesome. Uh, Dino Fest was the, a culmination of all of Hampshire's museums uh, and visitor attractions coming together to put on a dinosaur-related activity. So they had natural history museum stuff coming down. They had really exciting uh, pieces from uh, across the world um, around paleontology. And really, what the what the brief was to us was to try and raise footfall across what is a dwindling. Uh, area. The reason that um, they needed to do this is because people have to engage with culture. If, we don't, if people don't engage with culture, we lose our museums. If we lose our museums, you know, God, God forbid, uh, we've already lost most of our libraries. So the brief was get the footfall up by 3%. With the help of Rowan and with the help of a number of other people and by using an integrated approach, we actually went through the roof to 43% across all of the areas. And the way that we did that is we tried to pull everything together in a very integrated way. So I don't know if you can see on that. It was mixed together with PR, and the PR activity was supported by film and video. And the design activity was pulled onto the video, so it all tied together. And the messaging from DinoFest was pulled into that so that there was a proper brief and form to actually get something out of that. And the digital tied in as well, so the website tied together. Too often, we're seeing um, Brilliant pieces of film that are great, but they sit completely separate to everything else that's going on. And what I'm trying to challenge and inspire you guys to do today is bring the two closer together. Because if you present a consistent, a consistent vision and a consistent brand, then it's going to resonate more. So DinoFest, um, really fun thing to get involved with. Great YouTube channel with lots of... So it was only a very short thing, but they got something like 3,000 views on that, that one video that uh, you did, which is great, I think, in the context of what it was. So we'll have a quick look at one of the pieces of content. Fingers crossed. So there's our little DinoFest trailer. I'm going to ask Rowan to switch back over. Um, there was lots of other pieces that were created. And rather than getting a great team like Rowan to come down and make that one trailer, what we asked him to do was come down and film a number of different things that were happening over the period of a few days, I think it was. And what we generated out of that was all of the content we needed for our whole campaign. For, for the summer. And so we edited and cross-edited. And if you go and have a look at DinoFest 2015 and you search for that, uh, unfortunately you've missed the dinosaurs now, but you can still see the content. And one of the things I love about using video and film is the legacy value of that content. The fact it lives there for a long period of time, forever and ever, and people can engage with it. But the importance of that was making sure that everything tied together. So when you went and experienced the exhibitions, it followed through. The video you had seen followed through to the flyer you received and, the, the, you know, and you went to a website and that tied together. And when you finally turned up, you walked through doors that had the same leaves and branding on it and the whole feeling was the same. And there's a big move within communications and business to make sure the experience is consistent all the way through. And that's really what I'm talking about, making sure that everything is consistent. 